We often hear that cliche that democracy is the worst form of government except for all the others. But there's some truth in that because it expresses our frustrations with the system. But at the same time, we can recognize that democracy is awesome, literally awe-inspiring. What other system allows us to have regular elections, we the people to hold our leaders accountable and put them in and out of office while also protecting our individual political and economic rights? Now, there's definitely concerns around the system today, as we saw that in, the, in a recent poll, two recent polls, one from a co-sponsored by the New York Times and the other by the Associated Press, that a majority of Americans don't think democracy is working well for them. And in both polls, we see a lot of this ties back to faith in elections. Are they secure? Are they accessible? Are they credible? Now, here's what I can tell you. Election officials at the state, local, and even national level on both the right and the left have verified that our elections have been secure. And they're not making this up on the spot. All of those different levels have systems in place to find fraud, which sometimes they do, and to scrub it out of our system, and to ensure that the correct candidate wins. We also have processes, mechanisms in place for candidates to challenge the election results and prevent, present evidence that something has gone wrong. But don't take my word for it. You can go to your county or a, a state website to see the processes, talk to some of your local officials, better understand what they're doing to ensure our elections are free and fair. Not only that, but volunteer, get involved, meet the different people in your community who are doing this and become one of those people. And I think we really need our political leaders to be firm that election violence against the volunteers, against the officials is unacceptable in a vibrant and healthy democracy.